Salesforce Space Station. Hi everyone. Today we're going to discuss how to create DKIM keys. Well, we always want to make sure that our recipients receive our emails and not wonder why they are not responding or not even opening our emails. DKIM or Domain Keys Identified Mail is an email authentication method that uses a digital signature to let the receiver of an email know that the message was sent and authorized by the owner of a domain. This is used to prevent emails from going to the spam folder of your recipients. In Salesforce, first is you have to go to the setup page. You have to click on the gear icon on top and then click setup. In the quick find box, you can search for DKIM and then click DKIM keys. Here we have to click on the create new key button and we have key size selector alternate selector domain and domain match pattern for the key size we have 1024 bit and 2048 bit for years the standard key length was 1024 bit but hackers continue to develop new methods to break DKIM keys the recommended is 2048 but you can always check it with your IT. For the selector, this is a unique name to help identify the DKIM key. It's like an identifier. So I'm gonna put in OITC1, and for the alternate selector, I'm gonna put in OITC2. Just uh, make it short and simple. For the domain, this is your company domain, Ours is outinthecloud.com. For the domain match pattern, if you are using exact domain only, you can just put in here outinthecloud.com. But if you are also using subdomains, for example, mail.outinthecloud.com, you can also add that in here. All right, now click save. Okay, so here it says that we are in the process of publishing the text records for this DKIM key to your DNS. DNS is short for Domain Name System. You just have to refresh the page or click this DKIM keys here. And then under Selector, click on OITC number one. All right. And here on top, well, Salesforce publishes your text records to DNS. Your C name, this one, and alternate C name record, this one, needs to be published on your DNS. If you are not sure um, about the process, you can always ask your IT. It can also take some time for DNS publication to finish. Sometimes it takes like minutes, sometimes hours, and for some domain, it could take up to like more than 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours. And um, as you can notice here, the activate button is grayed out. So if, if I click this, nothing will happen. That is because the CNAME record and alternate CNAME records are not uh, published yet in your DNS. The activate button of the DKIM key of Salesforce will remain disabled unless Salesforce recognizes that the correct CNAME records have been published on the DNS. So once you publish these keys or the CNAME records, you can go back here in Salesforce, go back to the setup page and go back to this DKIM key, open this, and then you can click on activate. Salesforce Space Station.